Hello students, today we are going to start the chapter 5 that is tunnel investigation and groundwater control. Coming to the chapter 5, the first topic is importance of geological considerations like what is the importance of geological consideration mainly while choosing the tunnel sites and also the alignments of the tunnel. Let us see how the geological considerations will play an important role. <music> So, geological investigations are very essential in selection of tunnel site. But how it is classified? It is classified in the following ways. First one is selection of tunnel route, that is nothing but the alignment. Here, there might be available many alternate alignments, but which will connect two points through a tunnel. So, we will be having many alternate alignments which can connect two points through a tunnel. But however, the final choice, how we have to finalize, it greatly depends upon the geological constitution along or around the different alternatives. Okay. The alignment having the least geological negative factors would be the obvious choice. So, what we have to select? Obviously, the alignment having least geologically negative factors having the least geologically negative factors would be the obvious choice okay so we have to consider while selecting the tunnel route like uh, there are many alternatives but we have to go through the tunnel like uh, in and around we have to understand what are the geological considerations also the negative factors are obvious but what we have to select the alignment which is having the least geologically negative factor should be our choice coming to the second classification it is a selection of excavation method after selecting the alignment which method you are going to use to excavate so tunneling is a very complicated process in any situation which will involve a high cost which can also multiply many folds if proper planning is not exercised before starting the actual excavation hence proper planning should be done before tunneling also we should understand that excavation methods are intimately linked with the type of rocks being excavated yes we can't use same method in all the different type of rocks and the excavation methods are intimately linked with the type of rocks you have to understand this and also the choice of the right method will therefore be possible only when the nature of the rocks and the ground all along the alignment is fully known if you know partially you cannot uh, choose a method that to proper method let me repeat choice of the right method choice of the right method will therefore be will therefore be possible only when the nature of the rocks only when the nature of the rocks and the ground all along the and the ground all along the alignment all along the why I'm stressing all along because the type of the rock may change from one place to other place you have to be very particular and you have to see you have to consider all along the alignment okay is fully known it's very important is fully known this is one of the most important aim and object of geological investigation that's why we will do geological investigation okay let me repeat this is one of the most important aim 
and object of the geological investigations okay this is what you have to understand what is a third classification it is based on the selection of design for the tunnel after the method the third one is which design you have to select the ultimate dimensions and also the parameters of the design of a proposed tunnel are controlled besides other factors by geological constitution of the area along the alignment these parameters which are proposed can also be controlled by the geological constitution of the area but whether the tunnel is to be circular d shape horseshoe or any rectangular or sometimes a combination of the above said shapes or more of these outlines is more often dictated by the geology of the alignment than any other single factor okay thus in self supporting and strong rocks either d shape or horseshoe shape may be conveniently adopted okay see if the rocks are strong which shapes you have to take or adopt d shape or horseshoe shape let me repeat in self supporting and strong rocks in self supporting and strong rocks what you can choose either d shape or horseshoe shape okay either d shape or horse shoe shape may be conveniently adopted okay may be conveniently adopted but these shapes should be practically unsuitable in soft ground okay but these shapes are not uh, perfect for soft grounds okay let me repeat but these shapes but these shapes would be practically would be practically unsuitable in soft grounds okay unsuitable in soft grounds or even in weak rocks okay or even in weak rocks with unequal lateral pressure with unequal lateral pressures what do you mean by weak uh, rocks those are not having the lateral equal pressures throughout it they have unequal in those cases circular outlines may be the first choice in unequal lateral pressures which type of shape you are going to use circular shape is a best choice circular shape is a best choice in which case in soft grounds or even sometimes in the weak rocks how can you classify it as weak rocks if the lateral pressures are not equal on the all sides okay yes let me move to the next classification it is assessment of cost and also its stability this is a very important aspect of the tunneling project which are very closely interlinked with the first considerations because if you won't this uh, won't choose the proper alignment or proper method or proper shape your cost will increase okay so since uh, geological investigations will determine like which is the correct excavation and what is a method and what are its dimensions and what is the supporting system that is lining all this estimates about the cost of the project will mainly depend upon the geological detail you agree right similarly tunnels passing through hard and massive rocks even when left unsupported may be regarded as stable but this does not be true in all the cases 
However, those passing through different or difficult grounds, although these might have been massively strengthened by secondary support system, might still collapse or bulge at places or even completely fail if geological situation is not perceived properly. Hence, lining is very important factor. In which type of soil you need to give lining? You have to be careful because it only be understood by the geological detail. Okay, hence geological investigation has to be done very carefully. Okay, coming to the assessment of environmental hazards. Here, the process of tunneling, whether to the rocks or sometimes to the soft ground, whatever the purpose, what it will involve, it involves the distribution of the environment of an area in more than one way. So, here, the tunneling methods also involve sometimes like vibrations induced through the blasting or ground cutting, drilling. How you will drill, how you will tunnel, you have to either choose the blast or either you have to cut, either you have to drill it with the driller, which will produce abnormal quantities of dust and last but not the least. Interference with water supply system of the nearby areas is very important. You have to assess these factors before selecting the tunnel site. Okay, you have to try to reduce the environmental hazards during the tunneling process. Let me repeat try to reduce the environmental hazards during the process of tunneling okay because the dust which comes out of this method or methodology which you have selected will also affect the huge number of people who are surrounded with that area hence the traffic may get affected the health of the people may get affected sometimes uh, during the alignment like which you have chosen there might be some buildings or sometimes uh, there might be some uh, structures which you have to carefully understand the importance of the tunneling and next you have to proceed but this the, the decision will mainly depend upon the flight classification you have to be very clear with the five things which we have uh, discussed in this slide like what is the first one let me repeat selection of the tunnel route that is nothing but the alignment this is the first step you have to be very careful you have to select the proper alignment of the tunnel for the tunnel then the second one is the selection of the excavation method after the alignment you have to select the method like which method is perfectly suitable to the alignment which you have chosen you can't select an appropriate method okay next the design which design really sets because it depends upon the geological consideration like what type of rock it is depending upon that strong soft weak we have to select the shape like circular d shape horseshoe etc sometimes a combination of above shapes then the assessment of cost and stability will come into picture the proper selection of the method and the design will reduce the cost okay next you have to always try to reduce the environmental impacts of the tunneling whole during the process and after the process also okay so a correct appropriate of geological setup of the area especially tunnel alignment happens to be close to the populated zones would enable the engineer for planning and implementing the plans aimed at minimizing the environmental hazards in a successful manner which i told you okay thank you